What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so now we are a little bit more than a month before the start of the 2023-24 NBA season, and so because of this, I think that um, it's apropos to start talking about narratives that we're going to expect for the upcoming season. All right, and uh, one of the narratives is that will Chris Paul, in the twilight of his career, be able to succeed and mesh with the Golden State Warriors? Now, it was announced a couple of days ago that Chris Paul will be the starter, will be starting for the uh, Golden State Warriors, though his minutes may be limited. All right, his minutes may be limited in this capacity, so well are going to be limited, I should say. So maybe he'll play, uh, I don't know, 27, 28 minutes a game. Um, so he, he may start off, I'm, I'm assuming he may start the game at point guard and may come out at like uh, three minutes to go in the first quarter and then whatever. Um, then he may come back into the game uh, maybe halfway in the second, uh, you know, when they need a veteran presence on the floor to close out going into the half. Um, he may start, you know, the, the second half, rest with, temp with like two minutes to go in the fourth, and then come back maybe in the game with like uh, five or four minutes left. In the I could see something like that to close out a game. His veteran, when his veteran experience will be more um, uh, uh, valuable. I can see that. But the thing is, though, I'm concerned about is what their lineup is going to look like. All right? Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be him at point guard, starting off, him at point guard, Steph at shooting guard, Clay at small forward. But I think there might be a possibility that if Clay struggles um, on the defensive end this year, that he may be. Because there's some weird energy going on with Clay and fans. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm just noticing that, look, man, Warriors fans seem very unappreciative of Clay. I mean, this is a dude that was out of basketball because of injuries for 941 days, all right? That's over two years, well over two years. And during that time, the the Warriors struggled. I think fans are forgetting that, right? Look, people like to say Scottie Pippen never won a championship without Michael Jordan. Well, the same is true when it comes to Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Not saying he's better than Steph, but without Klay, Steph, I didn't win anything. Matter of fact, I'm I'm starting to ponder: has Clay even has Steph even been to the playoffs without Clay on the roster? Let me think. Uh, yeah. Well, they went to the playing tournament in 2021. But not the playoffs. And I'm trying to remember whether they went to the playoffs before 2000. And Let me see something here. The Clay came in with 2012. 2011-2012 Warriors. No, they were 23 and 43. And the year before that, 36 and 46. And the year before that, Steph's first year, 26 and 56. No. So with Plows 2012, 2013, I think that was Clay's first year. Yeah. So, yeah. Not only, not only did, has has Clay, not only has Steph not won a championship 
without Clay. He's never been to the playoffs without Clay. So, yeah, Clay Thompson deserves a lot more respect. Now, look, if it gets to a point where Clay Thompson's play falls off to the point where he's hurting the team severely as a starter, then maybe we need to have that conversation about maybe his role needs to change the team or maybe just trading him altogether if he doesn't want to accept that role. Um, but I can see Wiggins coming off the bench and being a spark plug for that bench for the team offensively and potentially on the defensive end. Um, I, I could see that being a role for him. Uh, but I think with Clay, you got to give him that respect, man. You know, the guy been there through all those championship runs. No, I, I think he, you know. But my big concern is, I, I'm sorry I got sidetracked, is, you know, w- what's the star line going to be like? Um, do you, who, who play, Who's that power forward? For the Warriors, um, is it Draymond and then um, uh, Looney? Is that the lineup, or is the lineup small ball? Paul, Curry, Clay, Wiggins, and Draymond. Is that the lineup when Chris Paul's in, in, in the game? Because I mean that could be a, a dangerous offensive team. But, man, they're going to get destroyed on the boards whenever that team is in. Destroyed. But, um, you know, I think this is going to be one of the more intriguing um, situations in the NBA this year, seeing how this is going to work. Um, They'll have to figure it out. And I'm also looking at this situation to see just how good a coach Steve Kerr supposedly really is because, you know, I, I scoff when I see him on these top 10, 15 all-time coaches list. I don't see that in Steve Kerr. I see a guy that is a good man. I think he's a little bit better as a coach than he was when he first started. But, I mean, how could you lose with such overwhelming talent? I mean, they always make the comparison with Billy Cunningham. Billy Cunningham was a mediocre coach, not great, but when you got that much talent on your team, when you have uh, teams with, you know, Dr. J and Andrew Tony and uh, Daryl Dawkins and George McGinnis and, you know, Bobby Jones and um, Maurice Cheeks, I mean, you're going to win. The problem is when you go up against a team with equal talent and then it becomes a strategic game, a chess game. You know what I'm saying? That's when the superior coaching and strategy is getting to uh, usually go to the to, to the winner. But I'm curious about this, man. I'm, I'm wondering how much Chris Paul has left. How much Chris Paul has left as a player? Because last year, you know, he definitely we definitely saw him uh, falling apart. And I'm also assuming that. In, with the Warriors, right? And we started seeing it last year. He's going to have the ball in his hands even less than he did last year. And he had the ball in his hands even less than that before last year. Because you already got uh, Curry, who's a playmaker. You got Draymond, who is a guy who can playmake and pass. So that's not going to be necessarily a feature that he's going to have to win. You know, it's not going to be the same situation where he is the, the traditional point guard running the offense with, with uh, four of the guys who are just playing off of him. That's not going to be the case for the Warriors. So that part is sort of intriguing. When you've got a team with three playmakers in the starting lineup. Because remember, remember how dangerous the Lakers were back in the bubble. And I'll give them credit for this. When they had two playmakers in the lineup at times, when it was not just LeBron, Ramon, James, but also Rajon Rondo. Now, Rondo was closer to his prime than Chris Paul, right? But imagine now with the Warriors, you got three guys who can playmate. Chris Paul, 
Steph Curry, and Draymond Dudu Green, right? Um, even though I think Draymond is whatever, man. You know, it is what it is. So, I mean, how will this team perform? I don't know, man, because I think what I think is what I think is going to happen is I think there are going to be some nights this team is going to look great. But I think there's going to be some days and some nights this team's going to show its age, okay? Um, this team is certain components with this team: Curry, Draymond, and Clay are past their primes. And it's not just the biological or chronological age; it's the age of the attrition. These guys have had a lot of long playoff runs, okay? Uh, that catches up with you. Unless you're on that spinach, unless you're using that that juice, which a certain guy, I'm not gonna say his name, but he 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 plays for a team not far from Golden State. A guy like that, I suspect, is on that shit. But yeah, man, these guys have had long playoff runs. That shit takes a toll on your body, man, to play all those extra games back to back to back to back to back every year. So we'll see, man. I suspect that. They're going to be injuries for this team. Chris Paul get, has been getting hurt more and more, you know, in, in, in the past few years. Steph has become more brittle. Um, you always worry about Clay. You know, he can't seem to play back to backs, you know, because of the injuries that he's had. Um, Draymond's been relatively healthy, but, you know, they don't rely on his ass. So he does, you know, they, I just. Concerned, I'm concerned about the bench and, um, you know, I'm just concerned about certain things with this team. Man. I just think they're a little bit too old. I think they're a little bit too old to be in a championship window. Had this been the Chris Paul from two years ago, I, I would have been more convinced. And I'm just also of the opinion that Chris Paul is just. A guy that chokes, man, you know. I, I used to defend him to the hilt, but the 2021 finals was it for me, man. That's, that's when I said, nah, this guy chokes too much for me, man. He puts up great numbers, but within those numbers, man, there's these games, these moments when the team needs him, and he just, I don't know if it's mental farts, I don't know what the hell goes on with this guy, man, but... Sometimes, man, he just disappears on the floor. Some of his his size. Some of it is his size, you know. A guy that's kind of smallish like him. Um, sometimes, man, you know, there's only but so much you can do out there on the court. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it, man. Tell what you guys think about this team and Chris Paul.